Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Porter Rich Challenge Day 3. We are now on day three of the Porto Rich Challenge and it's been a couple of weeks since I last posted one of these so I really wanted to get one out for you guys and today is going to be packed with lots of different things that I want to get done. I have a lot planned so we are going to go ahead and get started in just a moment but before I do as I always say if you haven't already make sure to leave a like on this video so then I know to carry on with this challenge and also as well hit the subscribe button so then you can be subscribed to the channel and you won't miss any of my upcoming videos and also another reminder if you would like to watch the rest of this series so far i will leave a card at the top of the screen of the playlist so then you can watch it from the beginning if you haven't done so already but other than that let's go ahead and get started so it has been a couple of weeks since I last came on this account to bring you a day three of this challenge and since then the Christmas update has arrived in game so we're going to be doing a couple of things related to that today alongside some other stuff that I want to get done but first things first is I'm actually going to quickly dress up my avatar just so then we are looking a bit more Christmassy like everyone else is over there so let's quickly do that and then we can begin with today's tasks of getting more bucks and doing some more trading and some more stuff as well. There we go, I have finished my outfit. I was trying to pick reindeer ears for the longest time but it just wasn't working with any of the hair that I wanted to wear so I just decided to actually put on some elf ears with these candy canes and I've gone for quite a red candy cane look so this is going to be my Christmas outfit on this account. I also went for some really cute wings at the back too. But now that we've done that, let's go ahead and get started with the main part of this video which is of course building up our inventory. Tory. Let's quickly do a recap of the last episode. In the last episode I decided to trade a bunch of hyper speed potions and it actually went really really well. I also got quite a lot of tips from you guys in the comments section of last video about how I can use the hyper speed potions a lot better and how I can save money with them too so I'm gonna go ahead and be trying them out today. And a quick recap of what we got we managed to get a scarecrow cat, a scarecrow horse, a Tanuki, a cuter Capra and a Zebra and we also got a Cracked Egg which I will be hatching in today's video too. The first big task I would like to do is I actually want to start off the episode with doing some speed grinding but before I do that I want to quickly just complete this task on my task board which is buy a gift from Santa because if I buy a small gift we're basically getting a gift for free so I'm gonna go ahead and buy a small gift and then we will also be able to get a big gift too there we go so let's go ahead and open both of these and hope that we get quite lucky and get something good so first off with the small gift we got a magic scroll chew toy and then in the big gift we did get the love perfume not too bad I'll go ahead and keep them for now but up next I would really like to do some speed grinding and I will tell you guys why right now so I'm gonna teleport to the winter fest event and that is because obviously we have the winter update out right now in adopt me and I would really like to take advantage of that with this challenge as I really think that it will help grow our inventory a lot more and the way that I'm going to be doing this is I don't want to spend all of my time trying to get gingerbread so I'm actually going to go ahead and work up my money to be able to talk to Billy over here and get 70,000 gingerbread for 3,500 bucks I'm pretty sure it is I'll go ahead and check 3,500 of my bucks okay so I'm going to try and work towards 
towards this. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to complete it or not, but I think if we do some speed grinding, I should be able to get there quite fast. I'll also play as a baby as well, so then we can get double money. So I will do some speed grinding for a bit. I might cut a bit of it out because obviously it's going to take me a while to get to 3,500 bucks, but I will keep in majority of it for you guys. So then you can also join in with me and do some speed grinding too. I know when I've done speed grinding videos in the past, a few of you guys have said in the comment section about how you like to put them on when you're doing speed grinding yourself and it motivates you. So this section of the video can be for that if you like to use it to also do some speed grinding for yourself. But let's go ahead and speed this up and let's try our hardest to get to 3,500 bucks. I definitely underestimated how long it would take me to get to 3,500 bucks. I don't know if we're going to be able to get there or not, but I'm going to keep on going. I'm probably going to just keep on going until I get to a thousand. And then after that, I'm going to do a bit of a change to my game plan as I really don't think if we're going to be able to get that many bucks in today's video, but I'm going to keep on going till I get to a thousand and then I think we will switch it up a bit from there.
so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna stop there with the speed grinding i really underestimated how long it would take me to get enough bucks i feel like when you start off in adopt me your bucks are so low and it takes so much longer to earn a bigger amount so i'm gonna stop there for now but we are nearly at a thousand so in the next part i will do some more speed grinding and we can get some more money but i'm gonna leave it there for now and if you do have any ideas of what i could do with my bucks so far then definitely let me know in the comment section but if i kept on going then this video would probably be very very long i managed to get my tanuki to a teen though so i'm gonna keep on aging up this pet as we carry on throughout the video however next up i would really like to do some trading and i would really like to trade some more hyper speed potions i've just put up my last video so then i can have a look at the comments about the hyper speed potion as you guys had a bunch of tips of how i can use the hyper speed potions to the best of my ability and rosie actually left a comment which was the top comment of the video and it says tip it's better to delete the cauldron after brewing the potions to save a box and the potions are free edit if you want the potions again you can spawn it again and then delete it and that is a great idea so thank you so much rosie for telling me that i will definitely do that today so after we have looked after my tanuki we will head back to my house and we can brew some more potions and then afterwards we can delete it which will also give us some more money which will really help us because i did actually pay quite a bit of bucks for the cauldron and then we can go ahead and we can trade some of them i'm gonna do a few in every single one of these trading challenge videos i'm hoping by selling the cauldron it will help us with bucks in the long run i still have it here though in my house so we will go ahead and start brewing them they only take one minute and also i can sell it for 94 okay let me see how much i bought it for i head to the rare section and let's take a look okay i did actually buy it for 650 maybe it won't be worth me selling it i was hoping that i was going to be able to sell it for maybe half of what i bought it for around 300 bucks but that doesn't seem to be the case is that because i've had it in my house for a while and i've been using it for a long time i'm not going to sell it for now but if you guys still do recommend me to sell it then i definitely will but for only 94 bucks i don't really think that's worth it i was hoping that it was going to be more than that maybe it usually is maybe it's just because I've had it in my house for a long time I'm not too sure but I'm quickly going to carry on at brewing some potions I don't want the whole of the rest of the video to just be me trading hyper speed potions because I do just want to see what we can get with them I'm just going to get two more just so then we can trade it for in today's video and then after we have traded the hyper speed potions I want to move on to some other stuff that I want to get done to okay I have all four potions and I'm going to try and do a total of two trades so I will give two potions to each player who trades me or i will try and do four separate trades this server is quite full luckily so hopefully fingers crossed we will get some good trades right now okay i've put up two potions and i've let this person know that i'm trading them they're typing but i feel like they're gonna say i'm sorry i don't have anything they said that they already have too many they don't have an offer okay i'm gonna go ahead and decline we will try somebody else okay i think this trade may be a success i have this person up in a trade window and they are offering i think for these okay they've put up a tawny frog mouth would you guys say that this is worth it maybe i could do one for that so i'll go ahead and accept for one and hopefully they will accept as well okay there we go now we just have to confirm it but trade number one a potion for a tawny frog mouth and is it going to be a success and there we go a success trade number one done let's trade this person here they're running away but they have a really cute reindeer on their back so i really want to trade them i finally caught up to them let's go ahead and trade them too and we will go ahead and put up the potions for offer and fingers crossed they are gonna add something i feel like they're just gonna accept this apple and they did i'm gonna decline that one <laughs> let's try this person here with this bear they didn't seem to accept let's try this person here they're currently in a trade oh there we go we can trade them now let's let 
them know that we are trading these we could do one for a small gift is that worth it i'm not too sure i think oh they declined anyway next trade and i'm going to put the potions up for this person here and hopefully they go ahead and offer they do seem to be looking through their inventory so i'm hoping so oh they're going to put up the big head potions should i go ahead and accept this i'm not too sure i did see someone say in the comments about big head potions so maybe we should do this i don't know if to do this trade or not i don't know if it would be worth it or not i think i'm gonna decline I don't know if that's a good idea. You guys may be thinking, no, why did you do that? But I don't know if the big head persons are worth the same. I'm in another trade window though, and this person has put up these pets if they accept this i will definitely do so they declined let's teleport to the winterfest area maybe and see if we get any luckier there's someone over here maybe let's try and trade them maybe let's put up all three we may get a bit luckier if we offer three at a time this person did accept this and then they declined but, <laughs> but i'm just letting them know that i'm only trading potions so i'm hoping that they will maybe change this and add something else they said sorry no they declined let's try someone else what about this person here let's try this person they are in their inventory looking so hopefully we will get lucky they have put up a mongoose okay maybe i could do that for maybe two or we could try one but they may decline that i'll go ahead accept okay wait they've accepted okay this is good another successful trade hopefully i'm only having to trade one at a time there we go another success we have got a mongoose now okay we have two more left so i'm gonna try and trade the these. I'm gonna try and trade these together. This person has said K, okay, so it looks like they are gonna offer for it. They have put up a blue bottle fly. Okay, I'll try one again. I'll try one, but they may they may decline. I'm not sure. I will accept again though. Oh, they declined. Okay. <laughs> I would just really like to be able. Okay, I am back in a new server and the server did close because the brand new week 3 update did come out. So I'm going to go ahead and try and trade the last of this hyperspeed potions. <laughs> okay, I'm in a trade and this person said, okay, do you want a poodle? <laughs> and I said, sure, I'll take anything you want to give me. Oh, and it actually looks like they're adding and they said, okay, so if they want to go ahead and do this, I think they do. I'm going to say thank you and we're going ahead and accept i think that's definitely a really good trade we managed to get a indian leopard and a poodle and these are the last of our potions so we'll go ahead and confirm and there we go another successful trade the hyperspeed potions really are the way to go so that was definitely a success we managed to get four pets which i'm really happy about we'll go through them at the end of the video however to wrap up today's video i would like to end the episode with hatching this cracked egg so let's do a bit of a time lapse and let's crack this egg and hopefully we will get something very good out of it We have reached the final task and I'm going to take my egg to the hospital and then after that I'm going to do one more thing. I feel like I always end up saying that. I always say I'm going to do one more thing and then I always end up doing something else. <laughs> but this will be the final thing of today's video after we have hatched our cracked egg. But here we go, it's going to hatch and hopefully we will get quite lucky with what we get out of it and we did get. Okay, we got a poodle. We now have two 
two poodles so that's not too bad that also means we're halfway to making a neon which could be really good for us so that's really good maybe i could try and trade for some poodles to make a neon what do you guys think however to end off today's video i'm going to do one more thing which actually just came with the recent update when i'm recording this it is thursday a day before the video is going to go live and the brand new hair boxes have actually just arrived in game so i think we should go ahead and hatch one together as it is 20,000 gingerbread for one and i have just enough so let's go ahead we will open it up and let's see what are we going to get inside and we managed to get the gingerbread hair an ultra rare okay that was super duper lucky that is really lucky that was definitely worth our money let me know what you guys think and it's only a 10 percent chance so we got very lucky with that definitely let me know do you think i should trade this hair or should i keep it and see what i can do with it a bit later on but what a great end to the video we managed to hatch open a ultra rare gingerbread hair so before i do wrap up today's video let's go ahead and have a look through all the new pets that we got today so in total we managed to get six new pets one of them being the gingerbread hair, two poodles, a Indian leopard and then we also got a tawny frog mouth and a mongoose as well and not only that we also managed to get ourselves a couple of toys too but so far so good I think we are doing quite a good job at the moment but that is where I'm gonna wrap up today's video I really hope that you did enjoy it let me know in the comment section what you think I should do next what would you like to see in day four of this challenge and definitely let me know if I should keep saving my bucks up to try and get something with that money but other than that thank you so much for watching today's video I really hope that you did enjoy it I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon bye